This game is not hard. So just on a whim, I went back and I watched Maximilian play the trial mode of this game. And there were so many things that he considered to be difficult that were actually easy, but he was just unaware of the thing that makes it easy. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go through some of the trials, and I want to point out things that look difficult but are actually pretty easy once you know the trick to it. That one was easy. So here's a trial. This trial wants you to go like this. And by the way, my inputs are on the screen above my head. So if Max saw this combo, he would try to do it like this. Which I somehow got first try. But what he's doing is he's trying to time the special moves like links. He even uses the word link a lot when referring to these juggle combos of special, 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 special. And in fact, Kyo has a ton of these. For example, his bread and butter corner combo is this. which is literally special, 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 and it'll drop unless you do them as fast as possible. And in other games, yeah, you would have to just time them properly. But in this game, you don't. Watch me as I jump and watch how early I press this button. <laughs> I'm doing it so early that he actually comes down with a jumping light punch, then lands, then does the special move. So what this is, is this is the button hold trick. If you do a special move and you hold the button down, the game will wait until it is time to do the move before doing it. Up to a certain maximum. If I do it on the way up, it's not gonna work. But if I do it on the way down, it will. So what you can do is you can do the same combo, but using the button hold trick, which means that suddenly a, a thing that looks like it has a bunch of one frame links in it is actually really, really easy. Watch how early I do that. It's insane. Here is another example of a combo that might look really, really, really bad at first. But it's actually not that bad. First of all, you can just do it the way it's written. And if you practice a lot and you get really precise with your left hand, you can do this. There we go. But you don't have to. This game, and like most fighting games, lets you buffer moves into each other. A more clear example of this is this move, which is quarter forward and punch, and this move, which is quarter forward, quarter forward, punch. Now, you could input this as quarter forward, punch, quarter forward, quarter forward, punch, and that would look like this. Or you can just use the first quarter of the first move as the first quarter of the second move. So you only need to do a total of two quarters, like this. And in fact, this game in particular has a really, really long window to let you do this. So how does it help you with this combo? Well, it means you can actually do Crouch Light Punch as the first part of the motion. So I would do it like this. If you notice, I hit Down Light Kick and then instead of down light punch, I started the half circle, so I went forward, then down forward, then down, and then I pressed light punch, and then I continued the half circle, and then I went back to forward. So I effectively started the third move before the second move was even started. Crouching light kick is not cancelable into special moves. You can just input crouch light kick, and a quarter forward light punch, and the quarter forward light punch won't happen. You'll get standing light punch. Which means, all you have to do is... Is that. And here's another example of a combo where the button hold trick is really useful. Because it goes like this. But this time, you can actually button hold on this super. I want you to watch something. Did you see that? To input this super, you have to press four buttons in sequence. But watch again how early I press the first three, and then the fourth one. You can input heavy punch, light punch, light kick, go make a sandwich, eat the sandwich, throw away the wrapper, and then press heavy punch, and you'll still get the super. So for this combo, you can button hold, button hold, Button hold, button hold, 
I didn't do it there, right? But you can even button hold the last button of the super, like this. Button hold that. So you have 30 years to input the first three buttons, and then you can even button hold the last button so that the super comes out as fast as possible. And then you have things like this, which are actual one frame links, and uh... Uh... There you go. Uh, all I can say about those is, uh, get good. Now here's an example of a combo that would basically be impossible using Street Fighter inputs. In this combo, the first two attacks on the second line are a DP cancelled into a quarter forward, which is a little bit weird because all you Street Fighter players will be like, how do I not get double DP? Well, in this game, you are prevented from doing DP attacks while holding up forward. In Street Fighter games, if I were walking forward and I wanted to do a quarter forward motion, th there's no way. I'm getting DP every single time. But in this game, that's not the case because I can do quarter forward and then keep going one input further to the up forward diagonal. And that guarantees that I do not get uppercut. So combine that with the previous trick of where I can start the input before the attack starts and I can do things like this very easily. So here's another example of a combo that looks really difficult, because you have to cancel forward light kick into a down back charge special move. Which is really difficult to do on its own. However, this game has very large cancel windows, which means you don't have to wait for the standing heavy punch to connect before you cancel it into the forward light kick. Like that. You can just do this really fast and it'll still come out, which means that you can start charging the special move sooner, and in addition, this forward light kick special move is cancelable early or late, which means that you can also input the charge move late. So put those two together, you can start charging early and end the charge later, giving you a wider range of time to charge. that. Here's another example of something that's actually easier in KOF than it is in other games. So here, King is going to throw me, and then super jump, and then cross me up. Now in Street Fighter games, this would be really, really difficult to actually anti-air with an uppercut, but in KOF, it is exceptionally easy. Watch when I start inputting the directions for my uppercut. I start doing the motion way before she crosses me up. In Street Fighter 4, I would actually have to start inputting my uppercut one way, and then kind of guess as to when the cross-up happens, and then finish the uppercut on the other side before pressing the button. Not in KOF. In KOF, if I input an uppercut to the left, it will never, ever give me an uppercut to the right. If I start inputting the uppercut motion as if she's already crossed up, and then I press the button after she has crossed me up, the uppercut will come out normally. Another example is when trying to punish this move. None of my normal attacks are good enough to punish this. So I have to punish it with a special move which requires a motion. And in fact, in Duolon's case, I have to do a whole super motion. So you're probably thinking, well, gee, how do you punish this thing with a super like that? Well, the answer is you input it early before he crosses you up. Again, in Street Fighter, you would have to either work with the cross-up shenanigans, or you would have to wait until after the cross-up occurs to start inputting your move. But in this game, you don't. It's that easy. You just input it early. It's so easy that I can do it ten times in a row. If I wanted to. 
but I'm not going to. I'll do it three more times in a row. There you go. So here's another example of a combo that looks difficult or impossible until you figure out the shortcut, which makes it really, really easy. So this combo requires you to launch them with this move, and then jump and do this move in the air. That's what that little blue icon means, is, is to do the air version of the move. And you can do it like that. You can just jump and do the move, and that'll work fine. You know, it's hard. Or, shortcut one is you can tiger knee it, so that you can do the move right after you jump. But in KO Up, there's an even easier version, which is the backdash version, because you can perform air special moves during a backdash. So that's backdash in the quarterback, which is really difficult, but again, you can combine the motions and do quarterback back. And now, suddenly you have a ton of time to do this combo really easily, because backdashes are airborne frame 1, whereas jumps are airborne frame 5, I think. So you effectively have four extra frames of leeway by doing the backdash version instead of the jump version. It's so easy, I can do it while looking at that screen instead of that screen. So Kim has a flash kick motion, where you have to charge down, and then press up plus kick. Wow, how did I do that? So I ran forward, and then I did a flash kick. The reason this works is because you can run by double tapping forward, and then shift to the downward diagonal. So I'm holding diagonally down forward right now, and that counts as a down charge, which I can use to perform the flash kick. And then we have Leona Trials, which are notoriously hard to pull off, except they're not really. In fact, they're incredibly easy. So the crux of Leona's combos are canceling her flash kick motion into her sonic boom motion. So two different charge moves that you have to do quickly. And to most people, that's like really weird. Like, how would you ever do that? And there's actually a couple of ways to do this, like this, which is you do both charges at once by holding down back, but then you do the first move by going up back. And up back will maintain your back charge for your back charge move. So you're doing, you're doing it like that which is down back to up back plus punch to forward plus kick. Ah! Let's just pretend like that finished. Anyway, that's KO13. This game is easy. Stop saying this game is hard. Moral of the story, things tend to be easier than they seem, especially in this game. Eesh!